of Oriel's bow. I heard it described in tales, but I could never have imagined its beauty. Indeed, the day hasn't been won while Harkon still walks Tamriel. But what of Serana? Can she be trusted to lift a blade against her own kind? Her own family? I suppose that's as much as I can hope for. Let me address the Dawn Guard and then we'll be off. The men deserve to know that we finally gained the upper hand. Everyone, gather round. Come on then, we haven't got all day. Too long. We've allowed these vampires to poison the night and kill our people. Now, we finally have the means to strike back. We now have Ariel's bow. The gods themselves have favored us, and we must answer with action. The time has come to finally put an end to Hargon and his unholy prophecy. We will march on their lair and destroy those wretched abominations so they can no longer corrupt our world. This is our fight, and this is our fate. This is the time of the Dawn Guard. Kill the abominations! This the is the no Hold between the eyes for me! The Set prophecy the is no more. It's time we take the fight to their door. Gather your things and rest. It's time we take the fight to their door. Gather your things and rest well, my friend. We meet outside Castle Volgahar. Keep your eyes open.
favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it away for this pathetic being. Provided for me? You're insane. You destroyed our family. You killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch her. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Yes, yes. Always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana? Then my daughter is truly lost. She died the moment she accepted a mortal into her life. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Very well then. You leave me no choice. Are you
That's done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned. That's what I wanted to hear. Sounds like that's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Sure. Do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. Let's just get this over with. Let's just get this over with. It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy dies with him. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. This was just... 
the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. I think perhaps. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. So, the beast is destroyed. Not only that, but Ariel's bow is in safe hands. The Dawn Guard will now be dedicated to safeguarding it, making sure that prophecy will never come to pass. You've served Skyrim well. Even with these vampires gone, the fight isn't completely over. Once we're settled back in at the fort, there will be more work to do. We'd be honored to have you join us. something? Are you sure that's something you want? This isn't like picking out a new outfit. You'll be a creature of the night, like me. All right then, hold still. 